Hi all, and welcome to Ark Survival Evolved. Yeah, welcome to 65 million years in the past. So yeah, right now you can see this chat box up here. It shouldn't be there, but of course it is early access, so yeah, you can't have it all. Okay, we are making our character here. Of course, we're not going to call him Bob. Um, you know what, actually... I don't know why, I always like to play female characters. I'm, I'm a pervert that way. So sue me. No, no, please don't, don't, don't sue me. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna call her... Um, uh, Cindy. Cindy Blue Eyes. And I'll show you why in a moment. So yeah, first of all, let's... Uh, we have body size here. Let's go with a little bit. Uh, I think the neck should be a little bit thinner. There we go. Neck length, maybe a little bit higher. Chest, hmm, of course. Holy mama. But when the chest goes out, so goes the upper back. Okay. So we get the food out, the uh, upper back goes way out as well, so just a compromise. No, that's a bit too low. There we go. And shoulders. We're gonna make her a woman you do not want to mess with. Leg length. Ooh. Let's make her an Amazon type. Ooh, hubba hubba. That's okay. Torso, that's this part the middle uh, region here uh, depth that is if she goes out or in yeah feet uh, oh, okay hip size of course here yeah, I'm showing you a great shot right there of her ass uh, I think the middle one Torso width, that's here. There we go. Torso height, let's give it a little bit more of a torso height. There we go. Like a real Amazon. Hands, arms, yeah. Uh, arm length, that's all of it. Let's give it a little bit more. There we go. Uh, upper arm, lower arm, we can increase the size or the strength of it oh yeah uh upper leg lower leg just a little bit need it to be like a real amazon right okay hair color make it like a little uh, brunette oh yeah by the way uh normal clicking turns her like this left clicking moves her like that mouse wheel zooms in yeah okay let me just not zoom into something a little bit too nasty here and it's the mouse uh, they have really made it sensitive here so yeah eye color there we go that's as far as in as it goes. Dark blue, I love dark blue. Head size, the uh, uh, upper face size, lower face size, upper face, lower face. Head width, um, yeah. Uh, height and depth, you already know what that is. K. Okay. It's very, very sensitive, that's, uh, the mouse. Okay, and we are going to go with East Zone 1. That's because I've played that a lot. I know that uh, it's a easy place to start off with. It is down here in this corner right here. Right here. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get started, shall we? And now it does a thing and loads and all that kind of shit. <laughs> Oh my god. Start off with getting attacked right off the bat. Shish. 
Okay, yeah. I'll work on the... Oh, God damn it! You can't sprint when uh, your eyes are like this. Oh, and we start at a real good place. I know this place like the back of my hand, so yeah. Okay, they found something else to go after. Whew. Let me just go in here and... Yeah, you can poop in here as well. Okay, I'm gonna set... Oh, I hate when it does that. I'm gonna set everything to... Not high, but medium. Apply. Save. Yeah. Cool. And motion blur is off. Film gain is off. Distant field ambient is off. Screen space ambient, of course, is on. Dynamic. Yeah, I'm cold. Uh, it's a bit, a bit nippy here in this uh, part of the region. Sky quality is down. We can set texture quality up. There we go. Much better. Okay, cool. Let us grab some uh, some berries from these bushes here. It's kind of like Minecraft to start off with. Uh, you grab items and grab stones and stuff like that. You need to start out your survival. You can get all manner of berries from these bushes here. And as soon as we gather all the kinds, there's five kinds of berries. Uh, actually, no, there's six, I think. Yeah. There's six kinds of berries. No, wait a minute. Let me, uh, uh, let, let's, let's just... Uh, I'll, I'll know when we get it. That was a lot of stones right underneath there. Oi. Oh yeah, that's the console. That's the capsule lock backspace. What does he mean by backspace? I have no idea. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, left control and uh, Alt G R makes you do that. Now you hit, now you hit with both hands. Uh, that's something new they've added. Ooh, I'm starving. Yeesh. Okay, let's go in to see the berries here. The yellow ones, the red ones, mm. and the blue ones are good berries to start off with eating. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the different kind of calls you can make when you, uh, when you have a... Uh, have a pet. The narco berries, yeah. Narco meaning narcotic, uh, meaning go to sleep berries. Don't eat those. I mean, yeah, if you want to want to take a dirt nap, then yeah. Then you're all limp and lying on the uh, lying on the freaking ground and can't do anything and then a raptor or something comes and eat your ass. Yeah. But they are good for taming uh, animals. Having a ton of those uh, and force feeding them to the animal when they're unconscious. Hey, we leveled up. Nice. Okay, let me show you the, the same thing. Uh, the leveling system on this side here. My suggestion is to first go with a bit of health. And as soon as you choose what you want to have, you come into this, the engram points. These points uh, you can... Uh, Put in all of these items to learn it, and it says here what level requirements is required for the different types of uh, patterns you can learn. My suggestion is go with the fireplace and the hatchet. Those are the two first ones. Some may take the spear, but 
the cool thing about it, the dumb thing about it is, the hatchet or the tools you have gives as much damage as the spear, but the spear is more flimsy. It will get uh, destroyed uh, quicker. But the spear does uh, give uh, a added bonus of sometimes uh, g uh, giving a damage bonus or something like that. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Uh, in order to make the, uh, in order to make the items. We are going here to our craftables, and it shows up all the craftables you can craft right here and now. When you progress in the game, there are craftables that you need certain uh, uh, tables for. Those are not shown in here. Then you have to go up to the table, place the items you need for that crafting in the table, and the pattern will light up. And I will show you how. As you can see here, when you mice or uh, mouse over it, crafting requirements. We need a flint. We need a wood. Uh, one wood and some ten thatch. We don't have any of that. Oh, here we go. We got the stone pickaxe. We got the stone. We just need the wood and the thatch. Hmm. Well, Minecraft time. One wood. Two wood. One thatch. Two thatch, and so on and so forth. But as you see down over there, uh, my uh, by hitting the tree, I do get damage. Okay, we just need a little bit more thatch. There we go. Let's not uh, damage ourselves any further than we have to. Oh, oh, we need one more thatch. You stupid tree! Give me that thatch. <laughs> Okay, you can either click on it and say craft item, or just double click on it. And then you can go into your inventory. And pull the item down to your hotbar, and then... Bam! I love that effect. It, it is a cool effect that it does. It <laughs> flicks it off. Oh, just a sec, just a sec. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted my uh, myself to be away from there. Uh, maybe we should. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe we should go right there. I know it's a. Uh... Shut up. Okay, let's eat some berries here. We need to gather a lot more berries. Oh, my God. And why I say it's a good thing we are here is because right on, uh, right over that ridge right there, is what I call a bamboo grove. It's a place where there's tons and tons of bamboo you can get. Oh man, you can just yeah, yeah, yeah. I farted. <laughs> you can get tons and tons of uh, berries from that bamboo grove, and there is also a little cove uh, with water and stuff like that. It's a perfect place to start off. There ain't, there ain't that many uh, meeting dinosaurs uh, in that cove. There's a lot of the other dinosaurs, but they're quite high level or quite big. So if you try to attack them, they will kill your ass. So, you can eat and walk at the same time. 50, uh, 50 berries of any type of those three will get you full in, uh, full in hunger. Will get you... Oh, damn. Oh, that sun is something else. Oh yeah, by the way, let me tell you, to tell you a little bit about those obelisks. There are three of them in total. There is that one, there is the green one over in that direction, and then there is a red or orange one in that direction behind it. The backstory about these obelisks are, we are normal human beings. We have been abducted by aliens. And there's a little story behind that as well. Um, the aliens uh, was the original creator, or not the original creator, but um, they uh, inhabited our planet uh, before we even were there. And they thought uh, as the dinosaurs, as their playthings, 
the aliens or some time uh, some type of the uh, like kids and saying oh man those animals they are so cool and carnivores and they were playing with them and seeing how the uh, how they would uh, stack up yeah these animals here they don't attack me because they are friendly uh, they have been tamed as you can see here this little guy has a name on his head what whore dot net at hot what the hell yeah uh, so you can tame all these guys here he's got a couple of dillos these they, this were the guys that was attacking me in the start and he's got a triceratops there and a stegosaurus right there you can see those stegosaurus tail there god damn okay back to the aliens and the obelisks well the aliens was like, oh yeah, we can, uh, we're gonna uh, have to go home and do some other things. Apparently, 65 million years is just a drop in the ocean for those guys. So, uh, 65 million years passed, and the dinosaurs was, of course, by our history, wiped out by a meteor. And yeah, evolution and involvement and all and all that man of yes, we came to be, and they came back, and it was all like, hey, wait a minute. Where is our dinosaurs? Where is our cool mediating uh, big motherfuckers? Uh, but of course, they had all the knowledge, all the DNA, all the shit and stuff, and they were like, "Okay, what the heck are these two two legged uh, uh, naked apes uh, then? That apparently uh, have intelligence and can do stuff." Let us figure that out. So they made this planet, uh, made it exactly like Earth. Well, in the story here, exactly like Earth, uh, with the dinosaurs and stuff, and they abducted us, smacking us right down in the freaking middle of it. And yeah, that is uh, uh, the point in where you wake up on the beach and you're all like, oh, what the heck happened? And you look and you have that, um, that like diamond thing in your arm here that shows you your inventory and stuff like that, and you scratch it on it and you're like, what the hell? Of course, we didn't get to see that because we were attacked by, yeah, Dilos. But, that's the story. So now you are set here on this planet, and you have to survive, and they are sitting up there in their three obelisks, watching your every move, and they're like, hmm, this is actually quite fun. What else can they do? What will happen if we send them care packages? So yeah, the aliens sometimes send down care packages. Uh, a a beam of light shoots down from a little uh, electrical ball, and yeah, if you got the right level or experience, you can pick up the care package. The care package has a color differential, meaning that uh, the rainbow one is level one or zero to one. So when you start off, you can pick up that. As you can see here, some uh, are on this server here is rather well situated with a freaking metal dino gate god damn that's that's gonna take a very long time for us to get so as you can see uh, by eating all that uh, berries there we now got uh, yeah this is the bamboo grove I was talking to you about all this lovely stuff we can just pick up here and mm -mm 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 -mm. And then you're probably saying, hey, but I want to see you build things and stuff like that. Well, I have to level up in order to build stuff. But, um, this is just like Minecraft, uh, except that uh, you have to, uh, you can't just uh, take wood and just place a block. Here you have to refine the wood and make it into uh, better things like walls and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, as you can see, I'm actually leveling up, uh, indicating by the arrow over there on the side of the screen. It is uh, a little bit yellowish right now. It's because every time you pick up something, every time you do something, even just walk around on the beach, even just standing still, it ticks up slowly. But the more things you do, it uh, it increases its multiple uh, multiplication rate. So if you do something that requires a lot of stuff or a lot of things, it multiplies it and you level up faster. 
as you can see here, this is uh, this is may, maybe a house uh, somebody built or is trying to build. But yeah, somebody raided it because it seems like it's destroyed. But yeah, this is the grove I was talking about, or cove, not grove, cove. Um, the water is coming in from the ocean up there. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm using E as the use button. Uh, that is the default use, E. Holding down E will just pick everything there is until you can't pick anymore. And uh, by, uh, by that, you can see the little hand on top of the arrow, uh, or above the arrow. When that hand is there, you can actually pick up items, or what is in front of you, or what, uh, what is in reach. Oh, yeah, sometimes it does get night pretty damn quick. And the nights here are very cold, which is why I chose this region right here, because um, it doesn't get too low freezing that you start to lose health. It does uh, make you lose hunger quite fast, but yeah. Uh, the next couple of levels we should be able to um, uh, get the first couple of things started off. Here we go. Now I can show you the uh, getting better wood and thatch. And the trees fall. It's such a cool, such a cool mechanic. As you can see, my hand now has a, like a... Uh, can't do sign over it because I'm standing over something that I can pick up, but I can't pick it up with a tool in my hand Now oh now I can pick it up and The hand also turns into the tool item for example if we get close to a tree and it says oh You need a tool in order to do stuff with this. Okay, cool. I got a tool right here yeah, I'm sorry, right now you can't see. Right now you can't see a shit all. So yeah. Oh, that is one of the care packages I was talking to you about. A beam like that comes down and then a care package slowly falls down to the ground. Um, as soon as it uh, reaches the ground, the thing there at the top will disappear and then there will just be a light emanating from the ground. It looks like. But yeah. It would seem like people have really decimated the forest right here. It used to be all forest right around here. But yeah, um, can I can I set the gamma up any higher? Uh, mesh level of detail is all the way in the top. Uh, I can't set the gamma up any higher. FOV, that's field of view, camera shake, master loom, no. Darn it, I can't set the gamma up any higher. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, well, let's uh, get some. There we go, that's 30, that's 40, that's 45. Should be uh, more than enough. We got 28, 29, and 33 of uh, the different types of berries, so yeah. Hey, we level up. Okay, I would suggest, um, actually, it, uh, it's up to you, but let me uh, tell you about the different things. Of course, there's health, there's stamina, you all know about that. Oxygen is that you can hold your breath longer underwater. There are places where you have to dive in order to get to caves. And then there's hydration, that you, of course, need water to drink. Weight, meaning not your weight, but how much you can carry. Melee damage, speaks for itself. Movement speed speaks of fellas. Fortitude is how many punches you can take before passing out. It's like armor in a sense. It's like you toughen up your skin in order to uh, be able to uh, withstand more damage. Also, it um, yeah, it's like armor uh, and uh, protects you from the damage you get. Uh, the damage is more, uh, uh, lessened by how many uh, by percentage of. What you have then there's crafting speed some crafts takes a really long time to do so crafting speed would be a good thing 
uh, torpor is actually your faint, meaning that uh, this one, uh, when it gets to a certain level of the 200, sorry, I'm spitting all over the place. When it gets to a certain point uh, from the 200, you faint. And first then will it start to dissipate. And when it gets to zero, you wake up. Cool. Let us take another one in health. Now we can make clothing and stuff like that. Um, we got 10 points. Um, I would actually say right now that, first of all, notes. I have never learned notes in my life in this game. Uh, clothing could be a good thing, but for now, I would actually save my points in order to I can get foundation, door frame, uh, thatch roof, thatch wall, and doors in one go. As you can see here, that's six, uh, six, nine, twelve. Uh, 14, right? Yeah. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14. No, 15. 6, 9, 12, 15. Sorry, that's 15 points and we got 10. So, we're just gonna wait another level. You could just hit escape and you will go out of it. Okay. Let us have a look around. It seems like somebody's home over here. Let's ask. If they are home, uh, that light is ominous. I mean, they got electricity. That's no, I can't squeeze. I can't squeeze you here, but they do have electricity. Yep, they have electricity. By hitting the B button, holding down the B button, you can speak, and they will hear. <clears throat> Excuse me, Jurassic World. Is anybody home? Apparently not. Yeah, I can't get through there. They have set it so you just can't get through, but you can peek in. Okay. Well, it seems like they are going to have a server reset. It happens. Uh, it is early access. And here it says, Welcome to Jurassic Arc. It's because of the new Jurassic World film that's just come out. They have made a gigantic um, patch for that. But... This is the first episode, um, write in the comments if you want more, uh, of course I'm gonna make a few more episodes for this week. So yeah, it's actually a pretty good place to say thank you all so very much for watching, and as always, catch on the flip side.